Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video on Ice Codes, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a scroll bar in code.org. But before we get started, I do want to mention that I do already have code right here, and this actually creates these buttons. Now as you can see, there's only like 5 buttons here, even though we are creating 8 as this number says. That's because all the rest are like under the screen, and that's what we're making the scroll bar for. You guys don't have to make a for loop to show your buttons, but it's a good way to. And this doesn't have to just be buttons, it could be more than that. Um, another way to create these buttons is to just put one on screen and set its Y position. It's really far down, like 500. It could even be like halfway off the screen that you'd be wanting a scroll bar for. But yeah, that's how you do that. As for our scroll bar functionality, the first thing I'm going to do is actually design how it looks. And so we're just going to go into the design tab. And I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I'm going to create a text area like this. And this is just how I prefer the text area or the scroll bar to look. It's not going to be anything crazy. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this. Um, yeah, we're going to drag on a button just like that. All right, now that we've done that, we're going to set it to the button's border width to zero. And I'm going to get rid of the button text. And I'm also going to set the background color to black. Now I actually need to give these guys IDs. I can't have button 4 because whenever I create buttons, they're called button 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, or <laughs> and 8, and so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to call this button scroll bar, and for the text area I have here, I'm just going to call this scroll bar. So now that we've got our scroll bar design and we've also got our buttons, we're going to move on to actually moving the scroll bar. So for moving our scroll bar, we're going to need an event that runs whenever the mouse moves. So let's just get that working. We're going to do an event and we are going to do a screen one event. We're going to do mouse move. And then I'm going to create our function that's going to run when this event triggers. For now, we're simply just going to set the button scroll bar y coordinate to event.y and you might wonder what event is that's actually part of this function right here when an event fires we get this event parameter so yeah we're going to put that in there and we're going to get its y coordinate and that's basically just going to be the mouse y coordinate so let's test this out we move our mouse and the scroll bar button is moving with it but now we want to make it so that we actually have to press down on the scroll bar first before it moves with our cursor and also, if you guys noticed, I did click on this this text area right here. Um, we need to click read only down at the bottom so that we can't type in the text area. Before we detect clicking on the scroll bar button, we're going to create a variable called is sliding. And we're going to set this to false because we don't want this to be sliding like it is right now by default. And right here in our mouse move event, we're going to say to only update the position of our scroll bar button if we're sliding and I also missed a little s right there and so now it's not going to move by default but now we need a way to make it so that we can set it to sliding so our scroll bar can move in order to start sliding we're going to listen to another event and this will be button scroll bar and we're going to do mouse down and we are going to create a function there that will run when this event fires. The reason we're using mouse down instead of click is because the click event happens whenever your mouse goes down and then back up. We want this to fire when our mouse goes down and we'll wait for them to bring their mouse back up so that we can stop sliding. So we're simply just going to put is sliding equals true right there. And then to stop sliding, we're going to listen to another event. We're actually going to listen to a screen event, and this will be a mouse up. So anytime a mouse goes up, this will run. And we're just going to set is sliding equals false. So let's see what that looks like. We have a mouse, and if we click down on here, we can move it. And yeah, looks pretty cool. Now we have one problem, and that's that we can go like under the scroll bar where it's not supposed to be able to go. And I have a way to fix that. We're going to go to where we are moving our scroll bar right here. And I'm just going to go right here and I'm just going to say we're going to get the property. We're going to get its y coordinate, the scroll bar button's y coordinate. 
I'm going to say it is greater than or equal to, and I don't know what number to put here yet. So we're going to go into our design right here. Just hover over your screen and see where your button, like the top of the button is. So as you can see, my button's at Y10 right here. And if I come down here, it'll be at like uh, Y390. That's where I want it to stop right here because that's the top of the button. So I'm going to say 390. If we want to move it to like 400 later, we can. So we're going to say if its Y coordinate is greater than 390, then we're just going to set its Y coordinate back to 390 because it's like 500 or something. If you go that low down, we just want it to set it back. So if we move it now, as you can see, it stops right there. And I might actually change that a bit. Um, I'm not going to make this perfect because it's just not, <laughs> you guys can do that yourself. So I'm just going to go with 400 right here. And now we want to make it so that it has a limit for going up. Because, I mean, it does stop because we can't put our mouse that high up, but we're still going to have a limit. And to do that, we're just going to copy this. So that's pretty simple. Um, let's make sure that's indented right. And we're just going to switch this sign right here and sorry let's change this to 400 as well but we're going to change this 390 to what our scroll bar button y coordinate is already, already is and that's 10 so i'm just going to set this to 10 so let's just do 10 and then set this to 10 as well and so now if we move this we can't move it past this point and we can't move it past this point so that's all good now let's actually make the functionality of our scroll bar so that this, the buttons move with the scroll bar. To do this, we actually need to add all of our buttons or elements to an array list. And so we're just going to create that array list right here. Our elements will just equal this. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is I'm actually not going to do the ID like this. Instead, I'm going to create an object with two properties. One of these is going to be the ID, which is something we already have. Next, we are going to do its initial Y coordinate. So I'm just going to say initial Y, and I'm just going to set it to what its initial Y is. And that's actually just going to be this number right here. If you guys are doing this with buttons and labels that are already on your screen, then inside of your elements array list, you're going to want to do ID, and then you're going to want to copy it from like your element. So this is button 5 right here. And then we need to say it's initial Y and we just need to get it's Y coordinate right here, 75. So we'll just do 75 like that. You would just need to do this for every single one of your elements. But the alternative is to do it with a for loop like me. So now that we've got all our elements inside of an array, we can actually start working on updating their positions. I'm going to make a function called update page and this is okay if I can <laughs> type right and this is just gonna update all the elements like coordinate to to be what they should be based off of our scroll bar so I'm gonna go through every single element inside of our elements array I'm just gonna set a temporary variable to be elements that I just to get that certain element we're working with at the time and I'm going to create a Y variable this is going to be set to the scroll bar buttons Y coordinate so we're going to do that we're going to get its Y but we're going to minus a number and that number going to be dependent on its Y coordinate right here so my scroll bar buttons Y coordinate is 10 so I'm going to put 10 right here if yours is 20 then put 20 there now I'm going to put that in parentheses and the reason is because finally we're going to add element.initialy and this initial y is actually um, the same as when we created the object here so it's initial y is what its y was originally and then we'll finally set the property of element.id this id is the same as up here and we're going to set its y to the variable we created. All right, so now that we've got this function done, we're gonna need to call it somewhere. So we're gonna call this update page inside of um, this event where we move our mouse. So we're just gonna go to the end of this and I'm just gonna call update page right here. All right, now we can run this and we can see how this goes. 
as you can see it's not working too well but just putting a minus sign right here changes everything because it inverts it that's pretty much it there's one thing wrong with this which is if you're scrolling and you go outside of the app lab screen um you let go of your mouse and then you come back it'll still be scrolling but the way to fix that is just to click it'll stop scrolling i don't see a way to fix this but i think it's fine how that is so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys have anything you want me to code as a tutorial then please leave it down in the comments i would like to try it out and make a tutorial on it if it's possible and yeah leave a like if you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye